image. All right. Yeah. Looking at page 10, there is uh, also a story there that is worth a good read. And this is coming from the spokesman of State House, and that is uh, Manoa Esipisu, basically accusing the opposition of uh, a plot to waste resources. This is to do with a proposed structure after announcing the NASA flag bearer, Raila Molo Odinga. We do have new offices that are likely to be created according to their structure. And that's what Manoa Esipisu is referring to, saying that it's going to uh, cost the country billions of shillings basically to please individuals. <laughs> Actually, this is almost double speak because even with the current um, uh, government, I think uh, it's the prerogative of the president to create offices, constitutional <coughs> offices. Mm -hmm. And we have seen many people have really been complaining that there are so many constitutional offices, uh, uh, CSS, parastatals, commissions, and all this uh, is all go down to cost. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's for us to wait and see what kind of government will be formed by NASA before we jump the gun. Probably uh, they have a plan of what, how, how to accommodate each one of them. I know they have come up with already pre, the, the pre-election deal. Mm -hmm. Of course, there will be a post-election deal, which is uh, part of forming the, 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 the government with these new structures. But I don't think um, it's so sin it's sincere for State of Spokesman to say that uh, it's a waste of resources, yet we know it's actually provided in the Constitution. So it's how lean the, the, the president to be then, uh, how he'll, 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 he'll decide to, to, to create his government. I don't think it's, it's, there's anything wrong for the president to elect by that time to form his government the way he wants, but he should be...